All right, here we do. Uh, all right, here we are doing our chassis circuit to start off. It's two times Curtis P, so that's a hang squat clean, lunge, lunge, and two a push press. Good. So you do two of those. After that, we're on to our sandbag rope pull. It's got a 40 foot core set up here. The guys are kneeling down, grabbing the rope, pulling the sandbag. Real simple. So two of your Curtis P's. You're gonna increase the weight till it's hard but doable. So most of these guys start about 85 or 95 and work their way up. So by that fourth set, you should be at your uh, hard but doable weight. And there he's just doing his pulls, trying to stay up nice and tall. Activate your glutes, your core, hand over hand. We're using 80-pound sandbags. All right, this is the second part of our chassis integrity workout today. 15-minute grind, so you're not rushing through anything. We're using sandbags for our heavy carries. We're using the same 40-foot course we use for the rope pulls. Guys are just cleaning the sandbag up onto their shoulder, walking the first 20 feet, dropping it again, cleaning it up, going down. You guys are going down and back. So it's 40-foot, down and back, with a drop in the middle, and at the ends. Then we're doing our hinge lift. So it's 10 hinges at 95 pounds. 95 is a little light, we'll stick with it today. We'll probably go up when we cycle through. Just good hinge lift, back stays straight, butt goes back. And last thing is wall ball slams, med ball wall ball slams. Okay, our work cap. Three sandbag Curtis P's, 60 pound sandbag, nice. Seven burpees. And then 10 lunges. So use those lunges as your active recovery. All right, burpees will get your heart rate going. Curtis P's are tough. Just work for those lunges. Use them as your rest period. 10 minutes of this, as many as you can do. Our guys will get between five and six rounds.